Hey family, so this is what beef heart looks like. Um, I'm going to slice it up, so don't worry about that. I'm going to take off all the calluses. It's a big heart. Um, it looks scary, like if you're not familiar cooking it, but it's actually really healthy for you. This is what a pure heart looks like. This is what you want to look like. If you ever want to buy it and try it, you need to make sure that it's like pure you know, like it's look at that, purely healthy, very healthy heart. I'm gonna trim it up here, all these veins and stuff, like the big chunks of fat, like this fat here, you know, it's gonna all be trimmed off. I could use it to make tallow, but I don't really need to make any tallow. I already have so much tallow anyways, that I don't really know what to do with it all. But yeah, and I'm gonna use some brown rice and what are those mushrooms called? Uh, I think baby Bella mushrooms. And I'm gonna make a stew out of it. I might add beans, I'm not sure, because beef heart is really nice with uh, earthy flavors. Because this has a iron, this is packed full of iron. So my doctor said, you know, you gotta, I gotta make sure I get enough iron so my nose doesn't bleed as much due to this dry California weather. But um, yeah, it's just really good for you. And obviously, whenever you cook any type of meat, you always sanitize the area after. But it's, this was a very healthy animal, so I'm, I'm very blessed. Uh, you do need a sharp knife. You do need sharp knives to cut this. If you're going to use your steak knife, it's not really going to work. Uh, you might hurt yourself. And plus, you got little tough kind of veins like this that you got to get through. And a steak knife, like sawing type with teeth, is not necessarily what you need. You need like a sharp knife that's gonna um slice through it like butter the knife does the work for you you don't do the work um but i'm very happy with the way this heart looks see here's the front part again so it looks like a heart i know you might be thinking it's super gross but actually once you trim up all the scary parts uh it's actually really pure and it actually makes you think about how you should eat healthy yourself right because you want your organs to be just as pure as this cow. I mean, you don't want the cow to have a more healthier heart than you, right? But yeah, it's going to be really delicious. So I'll, I'll make sure to post up uh, how it goes and what it looks like. But I'm making sure to eat lots of heart. Uh, at least two hearts a month, at least, bare minimum. And you get a better bang for your buck. You get full of flavor. What else? Well, you can't really go wrong. So, honestly, if you're going to eat a ribeye all the time, that's nice. But upgrade your uh, culinary skills level and try out some beef heart. You can get good deals on it. But I just wanted you to see, like, what the pureness looks like. No bruising. There's no blackness. There's no blue spots. There's no, uh, any sign of, like, uh, of anything bad so look at that it's really healthy and pure I've drained it you want to make sure you drain it so it can breathe a minute you want it to get a little oxygen right okay family I gotta get cutting this have a good day